Hey there viewers, Deli here. Welcome to my unboxing slash initial thoughts video on the Dishonored 2 Collector's Edition for PC. So the box is freaking awesome, first of all. Really well done, has an outer sleeve, which we'll go ahead and peel away that little condom. And then we get to the real stuff, all around. Just super good construction, I dig it a lot. It's a little torn up, but a box this big, you can't really expect it to not get fucked up during trafficking, so it's not too big of a deal. So right on top, got a poster. Oh man, that's cool. And then on the back side, oh hell, the new Empress, Delilah, that bitch. I'll probably end up getting this framed up and definitely be hanging it from this side because fuck Delilah. Right inside the top here, we've got the game codes. I already activated it, so don't even try. And then we get into the real stuff. This right here is a metal collector's case for the game. Really well done. It's, it's like printed on there so nicely. Whoa. Elder Scrolls Legends. <gasps> Get out of here. Nice art inside and everything. Man, this is gonna stand the test of time, I can already tell. Please close. Please close. Oh, there we go. Instructions on setting up the stand. Oh, look at that. It's a little decal. That's cute. Um, let's do a little flipperino. This is what I've been after. It's obviously all like an, an acrylic plastic, but oh, it's still so cool and the detail is all there. Upon further investigation, I realized that the entire thing is an acrylic. The inner layer that's supposed to be fabric is actually a nice rubber of some sort. It's really flexible and meshy, which honestly just makes it even cooler. Like I said, the attention to detail is great on this whole thing. The, it's like it has every weld there that's just like shittily done and as it should be. And if you look at these individual pieces here on the left, they're all individually made and then pieced together. And they even added on like a green tint to make it look like it's slightly corroded because it's seen a lot of use and I think it got lost for a while in the river. Even the lenses, the lenses there you can see are actually like a clear plastic acrylic. The whole thing is just freaking awesome. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna follow the instructions so I don't fuck it up. One. Oh, okay. Well, pretty simple. Oh, that is slick. Heck yeah. Now, we've got the ring, which is tied up in here. All right, now we're talking. Uh, it's a legit jewelry box, basically. I know that they have a real version of this ring on their site that's like 115 bucks, probably like sterling or something. I can't even get it on my ring finger, really. No, I can't. I'm not going to risk it. It's still so nicely done. I'm going to give me a wife with this. For like 100 bucks, I'm totally pleased with this. There's so much stuff here, and it's not even just like basic stuff, like what you normally get with a pre-order, like a, a collector's edition. Like, this is high quality shit. I'm excited. This is so cool. And even the box is great. Like, it's something that you'd want to keep on a shelf somewhere and actually have visible. And, I mean, this. The problem is, is the box. I'm not going to keep the mask in there because that's not nearly as cool as having it on the stand. Like, let's be real. I don't normally do this kind of video. It's kind of weird of me to do. But I was so excited when I got this that I just ugh, had to share it. Hopefully the game doesn't suck. I don't normally trust pre-orders of any form, especially AAA titles because most games suck these days at launch. 
But I just love Dishonored 1 so much I had to give it a shot, especially for the bonuses. I'm glad I got it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. Great lump land rats! exclaims Bravebeard, edging away. Oh.